Halo. One of the sexiest gaming franchises ever, next to Fable, Botsa, Gears of War, Blinks the Time Sweeper, and Recar. The Halo franchise is truly a tale for the ages. Halo 1 comes out. I am a dumb, idiot, evil baby. Halo 2 comes out. The world is shaken. Everyone was in love with it. It had everything. It had a story, it had a campaign, it had an x-axis, it had a y-axis. It even had this little thing called multiplayer. Then, Halo 3 comes out. Boom. Everyone is impregnated because this game was literally Jesus' fifth coming. Bungie could do no wrong. They even gave us unworthy, disgusting gremlins one final gaming gift. A swan song for all the hard work that they did for us. The Mythic Map Pack. But sadly, the literal gaming gods Bung Bung Bungie would leave us in 2010. Halo would never be the same. Terrible things were coming. These were the Dark Ages. My lights had been turned off because it was bedtime. I was not happy about that, as I was watching the Halo 4 reveal trailer, when Master Chief had a jetpack. Wow. One order for Batman Arkham City, please. Those sick bastards released Halo 4 in 2012, and it was amazing. It was such a solid and emotional game, with a gripping story, beautiful set pieces. But then a behemoth warned me that my enjoyment of the game was false, and I had no choice but to throw it in the bin. That was a sad day, and was it a coincidence that this game came out in the same year the world was supposed to end? Of course not! However, after Halo 4 came something so unspeakably evil that it must have been the doing of, did a dare I say it, the SJWs. You know what it is, a game so infamous that it split the entire Halo community in, like, uh, at least four pieces. Dastardly franchise ruining Halo spawn the soul. The very worst of the Halo franchise. I might be a silly fella, but I, I assure you, I am not joking about this. This is my serious face, so that's how you know it's true. Look, I love Top Town shoes. They're great. Box head, boxer dude, dead up arcade, which is terrible. <coughs> it's great stuff, and I think it's a super fun genre of game if the game of that genre is fun. But when you think of Halo, do you think of being a bird? No. Oh, so why am I up here? I, I want to be in the action. No, 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 oh my, oh my god. No. <laughs> <sighs> Back to the main dish, why is it the worst, baddest Halo game? Chill guys like me partake in a bit of a homicide for fun, and Halo of course scratches that itch. But of all Halo games, Spartan Assault just has the least going for it. I'll say this, shooting in the game feels good and it's fun at first and at times. Abilities are kind of a nice distraction as well. One of them even gives you sprint, so it's the worst ability in the game. But all of that means nothing when the game plays the same thing over and over again in slightly different locations, with no real changes to the structure. Progression in Spartan Soul is basically non-existent if we're talking about fun upgrades or a skill tree. You get Halo Crypto, which lets you get a different start weapon and temporary boosters, but it's nothing that dramatically changes how you play. Which, y you know, I have to commend the plethora of unique objectives here to keep the game interesting. Spawn! Kill everyone here! Psh. Okay, now do that six more times for like an hour. Over! Spawn, go! Psh, psh, psh. Here! That's it! Thanks! Spawn! Psh! Bomb the Covenant Shopping District. I do not like them on a personal level. Over! Spawn, walk over there and stand. Psh, over! <sighs> Let's just chill, bro. I'm getting bad vibes from this war thing. Psh. Wave after wave of the same enemies, weapons, and waypoint markers, it just gets tiring after half an hour. So, you can see how it quickly gets boring. Levels are so damn similar to each other that I, I could have sworn those sneaky tricks as we're repeating levels, but no. They made it like this intentionally. And if you make a mistake, <laughs> well, how f day you. Then it gets more and more boring because you have to go through the same bullshit you went through at a snail's pace. I hate snails so goddamn much. It just keeps dragging and dragging and that, that's not a good sign. I mean, I appreciate different takes on a franchise, you, you know, a Mario Pinball. And a top 10 shooter really does lend itself really well to what Halo is, but this one? It's slow, it, it's boring. It makes me want to play something else like the Master Chief Collection, which is currently on sale. 
zero percent off. No, never mind. It is cool seeing Halo in a different light, complete with Suicide Grunt sound design that stays true to the franchise, and even vehicle combat. But the novelty of all that drops off fast. Like, okay, okay, this is, this is the first and final level of the game. Can you even tell the difference? Trick question, it's the sequel! I will say though, that game is somewhat better because it has Strike in the name. Assault is a crime. I am not down with that. And uh, oh, oh yeah, I, I bet you thought I was going to say Halo 5 is the worst Halo game. <laughs> no. Don't get me wrong, Spot and Assault isn't really a bad game. It's just so average that what else could possibly hold the position of worst Halo game? None of these because, well, they're all good games. Some have a few flaws, sure, and some were even written by reptiles, but none of the mainline Halo games are the worst, considering the whole franchise. Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2 are actually pretty fun as well. I'm not big on strategy games. I live my life one horribly planned step at a time, but why I have played of the war games was fun. Halo Fire Team Raven and Halo Recruit don't count because I have never played them. And with that leaves only the worst Halo game. Nothing else is worthy of that title. I know it was originally a Windows Phone exclusive, a real killer app, so it was designed with phones in mind, but they had the mental fortitude to release this game on Steam and Xbox. I think it's fair to give it a wedgie or two. The Halo sexual assault community may not be happy with this conclusion, but come on, <laughs> playing any other Halo game you think is the worst after this just makes you appreciate it more. Like I said, it's really not a terrible or a bad game. I personally do think it sucks, but it is a game. It functions most of the time, half of the time, None of the time. Holly, if only Bungie were here, they would surely save us. Bungie would never bungle anything up like P4P. <sighs> Maybe one day they will take up the reins of the Halo, uh, and we will be free. No!